Hi everyone, in today's video I'm just going to show you how to use the toolbox feature on Doxit. So the toolbox feature has a lot of tools within it that you can use such as add passwords, add watermarks, add pagination, add pages, remove pages as well as rotate pages. So that is a very powerful tool that you can use on Doxit. So once you're logged into Doxit, you need to upload your files. In order to upload files, you go to the cloud icon with the arrow pointing up. It will take you to your file explorer where you can just select the files and then upload them from there on. So as soon as you upload your files, you can only work on one file with the toolbox. So the first thing that you do is you select the file that you would like to work on. So I'm going to select the merge file and then we're going to add the ID within this file. So in order for you to add pages to a, a different document, you need to have those pages uploaded on Doxer as well. So you select the page that or the document that you want to work with. So I've selected by clicking on the top right box. It will give a check box saying that I've selected it. Then I click on the toolbox feature. As soon as I click on it, it opens up a, a quite a large feature which you can use where you can do a lot of stuff as well. Subject matter case number sender reference. This is optional. You can fill it in if you want to, but you don't have to. Saving method. You can choose your three methods of saving that you would like to have the document saved as. Then you can paginate your document. You can add a watermark and then again, you can add a password. Very important about the posit is if you put a posit on a document, remember to share it with the other person as well. Otherwise, they will not be able to access it. So if you want to paginate the document, you click on the check mark. You say you want to start numbering from and on what page you want the pagination to begin. And again, the position. Add a watermark. You add your text that you would be like to be displayed as a watermark. For now, you can't put images as watermarks, just sticks, and then the password again, remember to share it with the other person. I'm not going to do this now. Then we move over to the left hand side. This is where we rotate pages, delete pages and add pages. So let's say we want to rotate a page. You click on the arrow that's going in a circle. As soon as you click on it, you can see the page is rotating. So rotate it in the way that you would like to have it rotated. Back statement, this page you're going to leave. I don't want this page included, so we're going to delete this page. So you delete the page. So this is now highlighted, meaning if we're going to generate the document, page 3 is going to be deleted. And let's say we want to add that ID that's on my document workspace. You click on the plus sign. As soon as you click on it, it takes me to my workspace where I just select the copy of ID, select it, and it will be added in between. Now you just click on generate document and all of the magic will happen. So you will see this is now three pages long. It's the affidavit and the ID with that one bank statement in the middle. So that's just how you use your toolbox feature on Docsets.